Throughout the world, the Dutch are well known for their water expertise. With advice, knowledge and financial support, the program Partners for Water stimulates the Dutch water sector with international ambitions to be active abroad. One of these projects is enhancing food security through hydro-powered pumps, the Barsha pumps. We saw a problem that many farmers around the world face. Namely that they have land directly next to fast flowing rivers, but they have no means of using that water to irrigate their crops. Some farmers use diesel pumps to irrigate their fields, uh, but the fuel cost alone is often too high to even consider irrigation. So we thought there should be a better, more cost effective solution to this, uh, one that makes use of the hydropower in the river to pump up water. For us, Nepal was our beachhead market, is, is where we, we started out, where we spotted the original problem. Uh, but also thanks to the Partners for Water program, we were able to pilot our technology also in Indonesia, on Sumba Island. And now we're also ga gaining traction in the in Indonesian market for that reason. Farmers in, for example, Indonesia and Nepal are running into water shortage problems for irrigating their farmlands. Or are facing high fuel and electricity prices to pump water to those lands. I had first-hand experience of the problem because my parents also happened to have a farm just next to a river and I knew how they were struggling so whenever they, it rained they just ran to the field just to get collect that rainwater for irrigation. So that was somewhere inside and I thought maybe there is a better solution. So the Barsa pump is a hydropowered pump. By that what we mean is it is a it is a water wheel that is sitting on a floating platform. So you put it on a river, it floats on the river. And the flowing river sort of rotates the wheel. And there are two spirals on the side where the water and air goes in. And the air column is compressed by water columns. So the pressure is built in these spirals. And then you have a connecting output hose from which you take the water. So basically the pumping happens just by a river rotating a water wheel and there is no mechanical action in the pumping. First, we have a water pump in the water. 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 मानसे को परिश्रम ले लिया रा वो बिरोले समा पानी पूरे होना सब देने थे तो पहला बोकर हालन बंदा पहला बोकर हाल हैरी तो बिरोह पनी राम ना होने फल्ला पनी राम ना संग ना फलने अब यो बरस पम लग बरस पम भय पर सीसाई कर दा हैरी अब धेरे तले धेरे राम रोट पान वो फलना नहीं धेरे पहले बिरोह नहीं राम रो होने तो प तीन चार किला का फॉल्ट है बने तो ये लेसीजाई वगैरह पानी आया रहता है लगभग दस बारह पंद्रह किला जति बनी हूँ उन थाले अभी बरसा पंप राखी सके पची हमें हर उलाई ढेर सुविधा भाचा विशेष गरी हमें डीजल खर्च हर उल लाइन तीन दिन बत्ती हर उल को आवश्यक पड़े ना हमले पहला ना भाग को बेला हमें � हीरेरा अली तारा खोला मगेरा बाल्टी में बोके लाऊंडे बाल्टी गरुंगो हुन्ने करते हो जस्ले कर द केरे ले हमी यो बरसा पम भाली सके पचे हमले ही सजीलो भाषा अली जट केरा हमले वसे एक परसा तेज के नजीक ही जाने तेज पची बोत हरु पाग केरे तरकारी हरु मत इन्हें हरु माहमी सिचाई करना सजीलो भाई राजा Previously we we produced all the parts in Europe and then we sent here and we assembled here. Now slowly we are moving towards uh, a situation where we are producing some of the parts here so that the costs can go down. So when we started out, we our ambition was to become a global sales, global producing organization, uh, and that's the direction we are going towards. We we want to have Barsha pumps implemented all around the world. The vision really is to have like floating water wheel pumps in any river that you can imagine and supplying water without any fuel, without cost, but also at no pollution, just in harmony with nature. Just to give some kind of idea of numbers, we, we are aiming to have 1000 pumps installed all around the world by 2018. 
and by 2021, in the next five years, we aim to be at a scale where we are installing or selling 10,000 pumps every year.